Yo, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, Raw, coming at you. Raw, hope your day is all well, and bless you for stopping by. God bless you. Let's get on with the video. Now, this video is about PSVR, a revised model of PSVR, adding HDR pass-through. Now, and also cable management, improves cable management. Um, I'm getting this from the PlayStation blog, but shout out to my dudes over there at PushSquare.com. They always, they always on point with this PlayStation news, so go there and um, support them. But yeah, uh, the revised or uh, revised PSVR headset on the 14th of October in Japan and later this year worldwide. The improved model makes adjustments to the core virtual reality experience based on user feedback. But if you want to read more, all the details about this revised model, I'm going to have some links in the description below. But just real quickly, the HDR pass-through and the better cable management, that right there should perk some ears with people who have bought the last year model. And it's going to be the same price, so don't think this is going to be like $100 more. This is going to be the same price as the base model for $399.99, and it includes the camera. Uh, I'm personally still waiting for a revised move controller with analog sticks. Right now, the move controllers do not have analog sticks, and I would like how the Vive HTC Vive and also Oculus, their controllers are like the move controllers, but they have analog sticks. That's really what I'm waiting for, but this is a step in the right direction. And those of you who don't understand why HDR pass-through is big, because the pass, the old PSVR unit, you had to literally go to the processing unit or the back of your PS4 because it was connected via HDMI. You had to go and like unplug it and re-plug it whenever you wanted to switch from VR to normal play sessions with your PS4 or PS4 Pro. With this new unit, you hook it up once and you're done. Everything is on point. And like I said, uh, HDR pass-through will be enabled for your PS4. And it, it, that's just quality of life like it's so sad that it didn't do this for the first model but write in the comment section are you guys gonna trade in your old vr helmet to get this new one are, do, are you guys fine uh with what you have and those of you who don't even have a psvr helmet god bless you for stopping by please rate the video hashtag like hashtag dislike put some feedback in the comment section below so i can get better to give you better content thank you also, please consider subscribing here for more gaming news and opinions from console to PC and maybe even tablets and phones. I would love to have you join us for Gaming Talk, our weekly podcast we do on Thursdays at 5 p.m. U.S. Central Time. In the link in the description right now, you can actually get to the iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher link. I would love to have you join us when we're live streaming on this channel on Thursdays. Please stop by. But that's all she wrote. This has been Raw. Coming at you raw. Pieces. If you haven't heard, Pinto Dimensional Games Megaton Rainfall has been delayed. It's delayed until October 17th. So look, hopefully that's enough time for them to just get it right, get it tight. We are still excited, Alfonso. That's the game director slash creator. 